Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So we're doing another full face video. I mean, why not? And today's is a little different because I'm actually like kind of in a rush. Um, I have to go pick up my kids from school quite soon. Um, so I thought I would just sit down and not only do a full face of Bare Minerals, but also just show you a really quick, easy, fresh, everyday kind of mom makeup routine. Now, normally I don't wear makeup from day to day, but on the days that I like to freshen up, look a little bit more put together, this is the kind of makeup look that I'll do. And it wears extremely well, but it looks very natural. I'm not caked on with a ton of product. It's still that very effortless, no makeup makeup look. This should be a pretty quick video, but if you are able to, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. All right guys, so I actually don't have a lot of time to film right now. I have to go pick up my kids in just a little bit, but I thought I would just do a really quick, fresh, simple, um, just kind of everyday makeup look using all Bare Minerals. So I have quite a few Bare Minerals products. I love Bare Minerals. I've actually done a full face of Bare Minerals going into ingredients and all of that. So if you want more information, more kind of extensive look into the brand, definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked below. But today we're going to keep it fresh and light and easy. And I just don't have a lot of time to film a full glam makeup look. So this will be nice though because I, I haven't done something like this using full face bare minerals so all right so for let's see let me do a little bit of corrector first I do have time to do that I'm going to take their uh, correcting concealer this is actually one of my favorite type of correcting products and whenever y'all ask me for recommendations for an under eye corrector this is the one I direct you to because it's not too overwhelmingly peachy or orange. Um, it's a little bit more on the kind of subtle, natural side. So you can wear it alone. You, it's not one of those correctors where it looks so incredibly orange on your skin that you have to wear concealer on top of it. You can definitely wear this on its own. I'm also going to take it on some little spots that I have before I go in with foundation just to kind of correct that little bit of darkness. And then before we go in with foundation, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. So these are fantastic. These are their Bare Pro Glow Highlighters. This is the shade Free, it's my favorite shade. I also have the shade Joy, which is more pinky, um, but I'm gonna use Free today. They have powder versions of these as well, so if you don't like liquids, they do have powder ones, but I don't, I don't own any of the powder ones. I'm just going to take some of this on my hand, and I'm going to use their smoothing face brush. Just pick that up, and then just apply that to the areas where I just normally apply highlighter. And this will give us a really pretty lit from within glow. All right, so for foundation, I love both of these. Um, I have their Bare Pro Performance Wear Foundation. This is more full coverage. It's definitely more of that very long wearing, like you need something that's just gonna last. Um, this is that foundation. It's extremely reliable. It gives you that beautiful, flawless coverage and um, it's very long wearing. It's a little bit more on the matte side as well. Um, if you like something a little bit more fresh, more dewy, more lightweight, I would definitely recommend their original liquid mineral foundation, which I have done a full review on this foundation, so I'll link that below as well. I'm actually gonna mix the two. I'm gonna do a little concoction because I kind of want the best of both worlds, you know? So I'm gonna take that same smoothing face brush and actually I'm gonna do a little cocktail here. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that highlighter in the shade Free and I'm gonna add that to the mixture just to give this even more glow. All right, so now I'm gonna take the smoothing face brush and blend that in. And I'll have all the shade names of the foundations and concealers and everything down below. So I'm actually gonna skip 
uh, concealer today. My favorite is the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I rave about this all the time. It is definitely one of my holy grail concealers. So, so good, full coverage, dewy finish. But I'm just happy with the coverage that I have. So I'm just gonna skip concealer altogether. I also have their mineral concealer in the loose form, which is great as well if you prefer a powder formula. And then I have their new mineral concealer that doesn't launch until March. So I'll talk about that kind of closer to launch date. Um, I'm still kind of testing that out. But um, yeah, their concealers are fantastic. You cannot go wrong with their concealers. And then also their powders. You can't go wrong with their powders. I have a few. I have their Bare Pro Powder Foundation, which I absolutely love. It definitely has more coverage to it. If you're some wanting something a little more lightweight, great for touch-ups, their Bare Skin Perfecting Veil is gorgeous. And then I also have their Mineral Veil. So... I think for today, I'm going to use the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. I use this in the shade Light Medium. Ooh. As you can see, this is a very well-loved product. It's just crumbling. Um, but I'm just going to take this and start with the under eye. And then I'm going to take the Bare Pro Powder, which is also very loved. And I use this in the shade Aspen. And I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face. But even though um, it is a little bit of a heavier powder, it doesn't look heavy or powdery on the skin. Just kind of adds a little bit more coverage, but still looks very, very natural. And you can still see the glow underneath. I just love that none of their powders take away just the skin-like finish of whatever base products you use. They're gorgeous. All right, and then, oh, so this is a new product. I'm actually trying this out for the first time today, but I've heard really great things. Um, I was kind of debating on getting this one, this version, or the liquid version that comes like this, but I went ahead and got the powder version of their, faux, uh, their Endless Summer Bronzer. This is in the shade Faux Tan. So I'm gonna try this out today, and I'm gonna take it on their Full Flawless Face Brush which is one of my favorite brushes. I keep this in my makeup bag. It's just the perfect shape for bronzer. So that is absolutely stunning. I love that shade on me. I believe they have another shade that's a little bit more warm and I think it's a little deeper. All right, and then for just a little bit of blush, uh, I'm pretty sure this shade is discontinued. I am so sorry, but it is actually the only blush that I own from Bare Minerals. Um, it's my favorite though. Like I'm very, very sad. If they discontinue this, I'll be very sad. I will try and scour the internet for this blush, but it is their Gen Nude blush in the shade Let's Go Nude. It is, it's incredible. It is just the perfect nude just everyday blush for me. It is a matte blush and it just always looks good. It's almost kind of that like bronzer blush kind of shade. So I'm just gonna take this right on the apples and then blend it back. And that is it, very, very fresh. Now, if you have a little bit more time, if I had a little bit more time, I would take the highlighter in the shade Free pump a little bit, little bit of that on my hand and then kind of pat that on top of my cheek just as like a blush topper. I'm gonna leave my skin the way it is because I just like the way it looks, but if you want something a little bit more glowy, that would be a great product to apply on top. All right, so I don't have a brow product from Bare Minerals. However, they did come out with this brow gel that looks amazing. Um, the comb on it looks so cool and interesting. And it actually reminds me of an old Maybelline brow gel that I used to love that they that Maybelline actually discontinued. I feel like people are always discontinuing products that I really like. Um, but yeah, so I may pick that up. I just have so many brow products that I need to use up. Um, so right now I'm just using my plume pencil. I'm taking a little bit of my got to be glued hair gel. And just running that through my brows. I'm sorry if I'm like rushing 
<laughs> but you know what? This is how I actually get ready when I need to put some makeup on. So this is real life. It's not like I have hours and hours to do my makeup and film because like I'm sure most of you, you don't have a ton of time to get ready every day. So this is a very realistic routine when I even put makeup on. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use their Gin Nude Eyeshadow and Primer. Normally I would not use an eyeshadow, but because this is such a quick product, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. And I have this in the shade Basic. This was in my underrated makeup video. I never hear anyone talk about these and they are so good. If you like something very similar to a MAC Paint Pot, you will love this. They have a bunch of different kind of skin tone shades. I got a shade that's slightly darker than my skin tone, um, just to add that little bit of dimension to the eyelids. And then sometimes if I'm in a real pickle, I will use this as cream bronzer. All right, and then I'm gonna take my powder bronzer To run that over top. And then if I had their powder highlighter, I would apply that on top, but I'm just gonna leave this matte. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, and then one of my favorite mascaras is the Bare Minerals Lashtopia. If you love a good voluminous mascara, you will love this. Um, and I saw that at Ulta they have a two-pack. They might have it on their website too. Um, but they have a two-pack for the price of one. So I think that's amazing. It's around like $20 or $22 for two of these. And this is just a little travel size. This isn't even a full size, but they have... Two full-size mascaras for the price of one, so I definitely need to pick that up. All right, so while my mascara is drying, I'm gonna do a quick lip. Um, so this is one that I've had in my collection for a while. This is the, one of their Bare Pro lipsticks in the shade Spice. I think I used this in my last video. Um, just really pretty, kind of warm, peachy shade. And then I just recently picked up one of their Less radiant lipsticks or luster. I can't remember the name of this. Why doesn't have it on here? Um, but this is in the shade XOX. I'll have it linked below But I thought this would be pretty for today. I also have their liquid lips, which I really like as well um, But just since we're doing a very kind of effortless makeup look, I thought this would be good I think it's their radiant lipsticks or lustrous lipsticks Shine lipsticks something like that. I will link it below uh, but I'm just going to do kind of like a stain action because I don't want the full color. I'm just going to use my fingers. And just kind of work that into the lips like a lip stain. Alright guys, so that completes this very quick, fresh, easy breezy, super simple, just kind of like my everyday mom makeup look when I actually put makeup on. So I think with Bare Minerals, there is definitely a route you can go where you go full glam, like there's definitely those options, but then just for an everyday easy breezy makeup look, it's so easy to um, create a look using their products. So yeah, I've just been loving Bare Minerals products. Um, I will try and link as many videos down below that I've done in the past about them. I've done quite a few. So if you wanna know more about their powder foundation, about their new liquid mineral foundation, um, I've done a previous full face of Bare Minerals. I will link all of those down below, but I'm just obsessed. Their products are so reliable. They're really, really good and you really can't go wrong. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm sorry this was kind of rapid speed. Hopefully it just kind of showed y'all that I do not have this crazy glam glamorous life that it may seem on YouTube. You know, I usually get ready in about 10 minutes. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Broken roses, I can't focus. I can't